What's going on all you fantastic freelancers? William here and I hope you all had a great first day of your week and your week is shaping up to be top notch. As per the usual, we are going to be going over the top tweets of the week from the one and only Mr. Mark Dera as well as a few others sprinkled in. Much like last week, we don't quite have 20 tweets for this week's episode, primarily due to there being fewer and fewer questions for Mark to answer, or he's been too busy to answer them, which is 100% understandable. If you all have been around for a while, then you know the drill, and if not, these tweets aren't in any special order aside from when the tweet was tweeted. Try saying that five times fast. Anyways guys, let's get into it. Our first tweet comes from Gerard, who tweets if you will be able to trade gear between your squad for either a limited time after pickup or not at all. Mark replied that it wouldn't be possible which now covers all bases, Anthem won't have any player trading whatsoever. Hugo tweets to Mark if he and his friend can play the first mission in Anthem together or would they need to do the tutorial first. Mark replied that they would have to do the tutorial first. This next tweet makes me want to mail Mark a blank check. Leon tweets if our armor, gear, weapons, and so on would lose durability during missions and would we need to repair the gear from extended abuse. Mark replied that there would be no gear repair. God bless you Mark Dara. God bless you. This next question is in regards to skins. A fan tweets if the skins we either earn from regular play or buy from the market have rarities. Mark replied that the skins don't have rarities, but revealed that they would share more on how it works later. Fingers crossed they either mention it at PAX or Gamescom. This next tweet is just a group photo of the Anthem team, but forget those javelins in the background. Look how happy Mark looks holding the Colossus' minigun. He looks really, really happy. Huh. Our next tweet comes from the freelancer of freelancers and seems to be a regular on these episodes. Laz has done it once again, creating a silhouette of the Legion of Dawn Interceptor. My only question is, what do I have to do for him to make one for the Legion of Dawn Storm? At any rate, thank you again for your talent and dedication to Anthem, Laz. You rock as ever, my friend. This next question comes from Scott in regards to ammunition in Anthem. He tweets if there will be ammo or just cooldown times between weapons that use unlimited ammo. Mark replied that all weapons weapons will require ammo, and some gear will have cooldowns as well. Adele Guzman tweets if we want to get rid of any type of weapon, will it just be trashed or will you receive materials or parts from it? Mark's reply, as usual, says it all. Now, that's the end of the answered tweets, but I have a few that I sent Mark's way and I thought I would share them with you all. Keep in mind, these weren't answered, which is completely fine. My first tweet was in regards to the Storm's elemental variants. It has been mentioned before that the Storm will use a variety of elements. My question was if these elemental changes were cosmetic or do they have an actual strategic purpose, such as the Scars being weaker to electric abilities or the Beasts in Anthem like the Ursics being weaker against fire abilities. What do you all think? Cosmetic or do the changes actually serve a purpose? My last tweet to Mark was in regards to the age of Fort Tarsus. Is it relatively new, 100 years old? old, ancient, and so on. I doubt the city would be ancient, but any measurement of time might give us an idea as to when the Legion of Dawn may have splintered off, how old the Freelancer Order is, and so on. What are your theories? Be sure to let me know in the comments section below, and if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Anthem content. And I truly cannot thank you all enough for your support over the course of this last month. We went from zero to 500 subscribers in a month's time. There is not enough I can say to you all. I'm trying to figure out something that I can do for you all to show my appreciation. Any ideas would be helpful. Anyways, freelancers, that's all I have for now. I hope you all have a phenomenal week, and I'm looking forward to seeing you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.